In a previous video, I showed you how to use the bypass controls to disable specific audio channel settings. And we did that by going into the audio channel settings and then using either the power buttons or the bypass buttons to disable the signal from passing through that particular effect. And if you want to disable the EQs, you can click this button and that will disable all of the EQs. And that's much faster than going down and turning off the EQ power buttons. However, what if you wanted to disable all of the inserts or all of the equalizers while you're in a mix? Well, that's very easy to do with these bypass controls. On every single audio or instrument track, you'll notice that there is a blue insert button and a green EQ button and a blue send effects button. These are the bypass buttons for all of those parameters. So for example, if we wanted to get the track back to a dry setting where we weren't adding any of the audio channel settings, we could just disable all of those settings. So let's take a listen to this vocal track and then turn on certain settings. You cannot walk a mile in my shoes. So now with the inserts turned on, we're hearing those inserts. That's something only I can do. With the EQ now enabled, we're hearing the EQ curve. You cannot say you know how I feel. And then if we want to enable the send that effects. might sound good when you say it. But you know it isn't true. So that makes it really easy to go in and listen to the before and after of all of those different settings all at once. And you can get to those same buttons in the project window because every single track has the same insert EQ and send bypass buttons. And you can also use the bypass buttons in the object inspector to disable the EQs, inserts, or sends as well. So there are a multitude of different methods to disable the audio channel settings. And now in the next video, let's talk about freezing audio tracks.